We love what we do. We love being outside. We love working together. We love that it's just our family. And it's worked out so far. <laughs> so far. <laughs> So the skills that someone would need to start a lawn care business, besides you know being able to use the traditional equipment, would be being able to go out there and get clients. I think they need to know what a quality job looks like, especially if they have never been trained or worked for another company. I think they just need to have a good eye for detail and know what a clients actually want in a proper visit. If you're just starting out, the cost is very minimal. $250 push mower and a weed eater. That's all I needed. You can have a car and still throw your push mower in the back of the trunk and go out there and make money. Or maybe you're doing bigger stuff and you're doing acres and acres of, of cutting. You need a big zero turn. We went and we researched all the equipment that we would need. So we got commercial mowers from the very beginning. We just went all for it. We bootstrapped the whole thing, right? We slapped it all on credit. So for us, it took about 30 grand, I think. I mean, it's all paid off now, of course, but in the beginning, you know, that's what we did. If you can match mowing during the growing season with off-season stuff like mulching and pruning and weeding and bed prep and all that, then you can have basically a year-round business without having a huge seasonal slowdown. It does get hot. There's days that you wish you were working indoors, but you gotta love the outdoors as well. Some of the key to our success early on was we actually started at the hottest part of the day, <laughs> but people were getting home at that time, so everybody saw us. And not only that, we didn't get the weekends off. Um, people were asking us for cards while we were mowing or while I was string trimming, taking pictures of the trailer. It was like dragging around a billboard with us. If I could go back and do it again, I would have wrapped all of our trucks. All of our trucks look the same. They're all white, and they all have our logo on the door, and so they're very recognizable, but a wrap is better. If you can bite the bullet early and wrap your vehicle, the first one, suddenly 100% of your fleet is wrapped, and it will grow your business. I can't even tell you. Wrap your vehicle. People drive by and see you at the same spot every week. It sticks in their head and their mind when they need a lawn care or landscaping company. Pay one time and get it done. I found some early success because I realized what my competitors were doing wrong. And every time someone called to get a quote, I would typically ask, why are you switching? Who's cutting your grass now? And they would inevitably tell me their problems, you know? And I would say, okay, we're not gonna do this, this, or that. It's gonna be X amount of dollars. And they'd say, okay, well, that's great, but that's more than I'm paying now. And I'd say, of course it's more. You get what you pay for. We're gonna do a better job. I knew my competitors. That was a huge, I knew what my competitors were doing, the mistakes they were making, and I just wouldn't do those mistakes. And the word spread pretty quickly, and people almost always said yes when I was able to articulate and regurgitate their problems back to them. Because they were like, how did you know? Like, because I do this all day. The one thing that most companies are looking for, especially like commercial, they really just want someone to mow and go and they don't want anything else. In the beginning, we did do a very strict amount of services so that we could do them well. And we didn't want to spread ourselves too thin. So we started off with, with mowing, we did some mulching, but in the beginning it was just me, so I could only do so much. But over time, $500 jobs became $1,000 jobs, and then $2,000, $3,000, $5,000. But we've stayed pretty close on our service offerings. We, we mow, we mulch, we pull weeds, we trim bushes, we do leaf cleanup, and we do snow removal. And that keeps us busy year-round. I think stretching yourself too much is a mistake because you underestimate how much tools and equipment you need to do just one more thing. When I first started out, I started residential just because I didn't know how to get into the commercial accounts until I was working full time at a manufacturing company and I talked to the management and I got the mowing account there. 
And then from that point, we just say we do commercial now. So residential and commercial are two different things. And you have to treat them as such. Charlottesville Lawn Care is a residential lawn maintenance company. We do have some commercial clients, but it's very few. And they're so small that they're, they're smaller than like a lot of our residentials. We noticed that our clients didn't want the mow and go. They wanted clean lines. They wanted stripes in their yard. They wanted their landscaping trimmed. I mean, the clients kind of decided where we went. I didn't want to just cut someone's landscaping and trim it. I wanted to know how to trim it and the correct way to trim it. So I actually started researching plants and partnered with a local nursery so that I could do the best job possible for these houses. I think that most lawn care companies should decide whether or not they want to be the landscaper. Mulch, yes, it's easy. Anyone can put down mulch. Trimming some stuff, yeah, it's simple. Everyone can do it and you make more money. So I think that if you have the extra time or the rain day to go and, you know, do mulch, then everyone should do it. But as far as landscaping, I think it's an art. And I really think that people should know what they're doing before actually getting into it because if you do it incorrectly, they will call you. <laughs> I think there's a misconception that the owner of any business is just sitting at home in his PJs, cash and checks all day. As much as I would like that to be true, that's not always the case. And I'm out there working a lot, leading, managing, scheduling, quoting, dispatching, and resolving conflict, customer complaints, all that stuff falls on me. So it's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. I don't think there's enough women in the green industry, right? I, I have other companies and they, they're like, oh, you know, they're tearing their hair out and, and they don't know what to do. Or My answer is always the same to them, is get yourself a Christie. <laughs> when I'd be working, I'd have people stop me and ask to talk to the owner. And just to be funny, I would go and get Brian and then Brian would be like, that's the owner right there and point back at me. I hear a lot that you can't make a living or you can't make money mowing lawns, and that's not true. Some of the margins that you can expect to make when you're doing lawn care is at least 50% of what you charge. Some money's gotta go back to gas and maintenance and all that stuff, but 50% at least, so if you mow 10 yards a day, $50 a yard, you know, that's 500 bucks, so you can make a living just doing lawn care. If you are all in, you can definitely make a living and earn some good money. Just be happy doing what you're doing. You can't go into this going, hey, I kind of like mowing, um, but not when it's hot. Th that's not gonna fly, right? You're, gonna, you're just gonna hate your life because you're just gonna be hot all day. <laughs>